Hello guys, this is Retro Gamer 6 How's everyone doing today? Yes, if you notice, I'm not wearing glasses. Uh, I thought because you know I've been watching my my video playback, and there's all that light. Cause I have a light right here that's always reflecting on my glass, and I thought you really can't see me. So I thought I'm gonna try without my glasses. So see that works. Uh, I mean, it looks a lot better. So. Maybe I'll try my glasses off, so we'll see how that works. But if you guys prefer for me to wear glasses, you will hurt my feelings. So, so yeah, okay. So a few days ago, I did a review of Parasite Eve. Well, today I am doing a review of Parasite Eve Two. Uh, it, it came out in two thousand. As you can see, it's also for the PlayStation. Uh, it's Amp for Mature. It's by Squaresoft. Right there. Uh, it's two disc. Here are the sides. And the back. <clears throat> so, it says, The threat returns. Aya Brit is back. The neo mitochondrian creature infestation has resurfaced and taken on a sinister twist. The outcome of this battle will determine Earth's dominant species. Horrifying CG cinemas and sharper graphics bring the shocking new storyline to life as Aya hunts for the source of the outbreak. Fully upgradable weapons, customs. <laughs> Customable armor and a new real-time battle system will aid in the conflict along with powerful new parasite energy abilities. It's one player, memory card, one block. Uh, it's analog uh, control compatible, vibration function compatible. And here is disc one. And here it is without the disc. Disc 2. And here it is without the disc 2. And now let's look at the booklet. I love the cover, very cool. Uh, this thing right here, it adds the first boss you fight in the game. As you flip in the back, you got Final Fantasy IX advertisement. It says, the crystal comes back fall of uh, 2000. That's really cool. This is a game I'm playing right now on my channel. Uh, if you guys are new, this is what I'm playing right now. So, yeah, uh, I actually bought this brand new back in the day. Now, this is not the original copy. Uh, like my other games, I, uh, I sold it because, you know, back then, uh, jobs were hard to come by. And, you know, I need the money, so I got rid of Parasite Eve and this, you know, uh, Legacy of Kane games, you know, my Final Fantasy games. But I look back and I wish I kept it, so. Here are your characters. Very nice. Great characters, too, you know. Uh... But anyway, this right here, uh, I actually bought this on eBay, uh, was it last week or almost two weeks ago? Now the thing is, I bought the disc and the case separately. 
because the complete was like over a hundred dollars. I didn't want to spend that much money because it is kind of expensive. It's not cheap. So yeah, the gameplay is a little different from the first game. Uh, you know, it's got real time battle. Uh, what it means by that, you know, if you play the first Parasite Eve game, you know, you're going to battle like you do in Final Fantasy, right? Well, in this one, you get to see the enemies, like, right there. So, when you aim your gun, then you go into battle. So, you get to see the enemy, the enemies before they see you. My biggest disappointment uh, with this game is the game, I mean, I love Parasite Eve, okay? It's a very unique game. I love it. I love the gameplay mechanic. I like how you level up and how you upgrade your weapon. It was very well done. And, uh, but in this one, it feels more like, um, Resident Evil, you know, because it's got the tank controls and you don't you don't actually level up, you get what's called uh I think BP, I think it stands for bounty points. And uh You use that, I think, uh, but you level up your parasite abilities like fire, you know, healing, whatever. Uh, that you level up still, but but that's it. Like you don't love your character like you did in the first game, you know. Uh, but you do upgrade your armor, your weapons. You know, like depending on what kind of armor. That would increase your HP and whatnot. I mean, I like the game. Don't get me wrong. It's still a good game. I love the story. Uh, I will say this. It's got an improvement graphic-wise. It really does improve. You know, it's got better graphics. Excuse me. Um... But it's a little bit different. Like, you got like, a, like attachments and stuff. You know, you do it from your eye up screen. And then you can attach it to your weapons and armor. And that's how you get stronger. And I remember playing it for the first time. And it just threw me off. Because I was so used to the... To the first game so much. And you get different types of, uh, of ammo. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like uh, Squaresoft was really trying to be like Resident Evil because if you guys grew up in the 90s, you know, uh, is that it? Yeah. So, if you guys grew up in the 90s like I did, you gotta understand, Resident Evil was so popular back then. And it still is to this day. But back then, it was like the rage. I mean, everybody was all over. And it was, like, Mortal Kombat was very popular in, in, the, in the 90s. And so, you got games like Parasite Eve 2 trying so hard to be like Resident Evil. You know, I think that's kind of where it went downhill. I mean, me personally, I did enjoy it. I mean, I got a lot of... I got a lot of uh, fond memories playing this game. You know, I mean, it does take me back. Great music. I mean, it's got good music. I prefer the music the music in the first game better, in my opinion. Uh, 
But yeah, you know, good uh, good graphics. I just wish they kept the same uh, gameplay mechanic from the first game. Like, keep the story, keep the characters, you know, the environment. Like, I love the, the town in the beginning of the game. I love the dry desert section. I, I loved it. I really did. So keep all that, but bring back the the battle system, whatever, the leveling up system from the first game. You know, that would have been a lot better, in my opinion. So, yeah. But anyway, that is Parasite Eve 2 for the PlayStation. It's not on any other platforms. Uh, near the first game, I don't think. I don't think these were ever released on the PC. I know uh, Final Fantasy 7 and Final Fantasy 8 were on PC back then as well. I don't know if Final Fantasy 9 was on PC, but... But these games never were, I don't think. I think these are on the on the PS1 exclusive. Well, if you have a PS3, you could download these games on, under uh, PS1 Classic. So, yeah. So, what do you think? Have you played it? Which one is your favorite? Do you prefer this one or the first game? Let me know down in the comments below. And with that, guys, I am out of here. Thank you for watching once again. This is the Rachel Gamer 06. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. It does help me out a lot. Uh, leave a like and have a great week. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.